This is Isabella II of Spain. She became Queen of Spain in her own right at the age of just three. Isabella was born in 1830. She was the eldest daughter of Ferdinand VII of Spain and his wife, who was also coincidentally his niece, Maria Cristina of the Two Sicilies. When her father died in 1833, she became queen with her mother as regent. However, her claim to the throne was hotly contended by her uncle, who had originally been the next in line to the throne after her father. For seven years during Isabella's minority, her uncle tried to seize control from her. And it is said that she only maintained control of her throne because the army supported her. At the age of just 13, she was declared to be an adult and so she was allowed to rule in her own name. Of course, as a child, she didn't really hold that much power. And this is evidenced in the fact that at the age of 16, she was forced to marry against her will. She was forced to marry her first cousin, Francisco, Duke of Cadiz. She was apparently disgusted by him. And she later said of her wedding night, what shall I tell you about a man I saw wearing more lace than I was wearing on our wedding night? And there are rumours at court that her husband was gay. So obviously this was an unhappy marriage on both sides. Not to mention the fact that they were first cousins. Although she did have five children, as you can see one of them down there, um, it isn't thought that they were all, or if any, were fathered by her husband. And in 1847, at the age of 17, she scandaled society by publicly showing her love for another man called General Serrano. And she was showing her willingness to divorce her husband. When she was 22 and she was leaving the royal chapel, an ordained priest came up to her and stabbed her. He was a liberal activist, but because of her corset, the stab wound didn't go too deep and so she was fine. During her reign, there was loads of civil unrest. And in 1854, there was a full scale people's revolution in Madrid. In 1868, she had grown so unpopular that she was deposed during the glorious revolution. And then in 1870, she formally abdicated. And her son, Alfonso XII, became the next King of Spain. Isabella went into exile and she settled in Paris. And here is another photograph of the Queen in Paris. She pretty much lived the rest of her life there, but she did on occasion return to Spain. She died in 1904 at the age of 73.